Hi, this is Music and Speech, and this is my second makeup tutorial for how to do another version of a summer look. And it's gonna be a little bit more colorful, but not too colorful. Um, but anyways, I have already put on my um, cover up and my foundation. Um, the cover up I use is Sephora, and then the foundation I use is the HD. Makeup forever. <laughs> so first I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow today and I'll be telling you the brushes and what type of eyeshadow I, I'm using and what colors. And yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm going to use a domed eyeshadow brush and I will be using the Don't Quit Your Daydream Tart brand. And what I'm going to do today actually is have a more brighter color. I'm going to use the color Strive. And you'll see that it's a lot, it's a brighter pink. So and what I prefer to do is just lightly brush it on. Sorry, I need a glance to see if I'm doing this right. Um, and then I'll lightly do the other side. And the reason why I like doing the domed eyeshadow is because, well not the domed eyeshadow brush, sorry, I'm not that smart. In the but, um, the reason why I like using the domed ones is because it gives more coverage and it makes more like a natural curve instead of you have to constantly fix it. And now I'm gonna use a, actually a blender brush because I prefer to use a blender brush to do the more intricate, in, intricate, in, intricate, intricate details of the eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna be using a golden color from Tarte called Boss Lady. And so basically right around now, I'm going to lightly go around. And this is the color I did before, Strive. And then I'll be doing the edges of my lid. Not the inner ones, because the inner ones will be a different color. And just go with the flow of your I the I prefer actually just to not go too far out to not go all the way up to your eyebrows because some people say to do that because sometimes it just takes away from your eyes and people are paying attention paying attention to your eyeshadow more than your eye color when the eyeshadow is supposed to be complimenting your eyes. Um, right now I'm going to do the inner part of my eye which I'm using Shine On, which is a light, light gold. As you can see, it kind of does a big difference. And just do the inner eye, make sure not to do far out. If you mess up and kind of go a little bit too far out, then just, you know, get a Q-tip and just wipe it off. Or you can cover up with the cover. So now I'm going to do Runway at the very ends and just brush it on. That's why I love the blender brush, but after each time, do use a rag and wipe off the excess eyeshadow so that you're not, um, you know, you're not throwing it off. You're not accidentally mixing colors that you don't want to be mixed together. So, there's my eyeshadow so far. I'm sorry, I have such interesting faces, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So now, I know, I know I'm so attractive, but now I'm going to do my mascara. Of course, go with the flow and just blink. It also helps not have your eyelashes be as clumpy if you blink, but if you have that problem, then you can lightly 
pinch the ends of your eyelashes with your fingers. Yeah, it's going to make your fingers dirty, but it, it helps. So now I'm just going with the flow. I promise you I know how to do eyeliner. I just... I just don't really do eyeliner that much in the summertime. So, just finishing that, just do as many layers as you want to have that, that definition you desire, that value. I, I'm not, I'm terrible at speaking. But anyways, now we're going to be using the Tarte highlighter. This, this is one specifically called the... It is called Stunner. So you get your blush brush and you just do what I said in that earlier video where you smile while doing it. So, and the reason why I love this highlighter is because one, it smells like vanilla, and two, it's not too, too, um, blunt. Well, the color's not too blunt because it's kind of like also a little bit of a bronzer. And I like it. I like bronzers, but I don't like them too stark. You know? So... You get what you get, though. Also, if you mess up on your highlighter, I suggest that you get, like, a clean rag and you wipe it off. Or you pat it. You can get a paper towel and just pat it lightly until some of the highlighter comes off and it you get your desired effect you want. And now finally, I'm going to be using, what is this called? I, I'm not the smart. Um, if the brand name would show itself. I'm using L'Oreal Color Rich and it is the Caramel Latte. So, what I suggest is just do your bottom lip first and then do your upper lip and pay attention to your cupid spill. And the reason why, this is a good summer look if you want to have more of like that shine you're wearing. Um, more simpler clothes, like if you're wearing a blue jeans and a blue jean shirt or a simple shirt, then you can do this. However, if you are already wearing like a risque dress, not a risque dress, like a dress that's rather has already that that pop and everything. You get what I mean. But you get what I mean. Um you don't want to have too much makeup on when you're wearing like a bright red dress or something or wearing a flower dress um, because then it's, it seems like it's too much. So I suggest this for if you're wearing a more simpler outfit. But um, this is it. <laughs> I showed you how to do a summer look for eyeshadow. Um, I showed you highlighter, and I showed you a type of lipstick color that would be great for the summer look. And it <laughs> if you like, subscribe. I promise the videos are going to get better. I'm, I'm awkward, so. But anyways, if you like, subscribe. If you um, want, leave a comment. I love comments. And finally, um, if you want, go to my GoFundMe page and donate. It's going to help me pay for my college. But anyways, have a wonderful day.